All right, we're headed back down, but I have something really important to tell you guys. Good morning. We're meeting up with to go. back we gotta make room so that uh, our friend can sit in the back so where are we going uh, St. Mary's Glacier all right okay hey how's it back there in the back good. I'm just hanging out in our closet just with my clothes and my shoes all right, so while they went to feed their caffeine addiction, I am hanging out here in the truck and I thought I'd just fill you in on what we're doing today for a hike. Now, there's supposed to be a glacier, but um, they also said that the glacier has gotten smaller and smaller over the years, so. So I lived here in Colorado for almost five years. Uh, there was a specific community that I was a part of. Uh, it was a nonprofit and I don't know if you could call me like a property manager or like a groundskeeper, but basically I was the guy that helped take care of the facilities and the landscape and different stuff like that. It was a seven acre property and there was a handful of different buildings. And then there were about uh, 12, 12 different people uh, that lived on the property. And so that kind of, that community became uh, really close and they all became really good friends and so while we're here in Denver um, a lot of them live in this area now and so we're trying to meet up with different different ones and so Bethany was actually part of that community I've been thinking a lot lately on what we're gonna do next after we're done with this uh, long trip and one reason is because everybody keeps asking us that and so in a sense, I've, I've been trying to avoid that question and just kind of stay in the moment as we're traveling and everything. But every place we go, we kind of uh, ask each other and ask ourselves, like, you know, is this where we're supposed to be? And so we're doing the same process here uh, while we're in Colorado, just kind of figuring that out. And um, it's interesting. It's uh, interesting because we have so many options and so many friends and so many places um, that you have a lot to, to factor in and we can definitely see some some perks to living here in Colorado probably because um, the community just how many people we know here uh, as well as uh, the weather here is awesome and the mountains and everything and so we're gonna try to get up into the mountains today and um, maybe clear our heads a little bit and that should be good up here up here getting quite a bit of elevation we're getting chief out taylor and bethany are going to get our our parking permit they're charging us five bucks to park here that's fine water check dog check hiking apparel check good attitude check let's get after it right here sit down stay Stay right there. We're gonna put this leash on Chief. There's a sign that is right behind you. It says, all dogs must be kept on leash. Chief is uh, super well behaved. Still gotta follow the rules. Last night we went for a walk through neighborhood with our friends and there's a bunny rabbit and Chief started to take off uh, towards the, the bunny and he wasn't on a leash. And I just said, I was like, Chief, no. And then he stopped. And then, Chief, come here. And then he came back. And uh, our friend was like, there's there's no way, like, she or she was like, she was really impressed that uh, Chief stopped and he didn't keep running after the, 
the bunny because it's like their instinct, you know, that kicks in. They like to chase. Hey, there's a tennis ball. It's like their instinct that kicks in to chase a bunny, you know, but for him to stop in the middle of that and then come back, uh, she said it was impressive. So that's a good sign that Chief listens well. So I'm sure he would be fine on this trail without a leash, but we're just going to leash him up anyways. Come here. Come here. Yeah, they just got to make moves so then we can walk around. Hi. Hi. I mean, uh, one point. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. A couple days later. <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation. <laughs> hey, is it okay? Are you okay with being in the video today? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. That's good because I'm recording right now. <laughs> So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name's Bethany, and I'm on a hike in Colorado. Um, and I have red hair. <laughs> so, there you go. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks. I don't have red hair, but... So, like I said before, Bethany was part of the community that Taylor and I lived in, and now you live in what state? Um, Maryland. She lives in Maryland. Slash Virginia. And so we went to a wedding the other day and so she came to Colorado for the wedding and we were coming here for the wedding and also to see everybody else and I'm getting out of breath already. <laughs> uh, so it just worked out that we were both here. Right, so there's the glacier right there, and then we have a little lake here. A few other dogs here, so Chief's watching them, see if we can find a stick and uh, let them get in the water. We didn't find a stick, so we're going to head up towards the snow. Someone snowboarding up there. This is a really cool spot. There's people sliding down the snow. There's a guy that has a snowboard. And then down by the lake there, there's some cliffs that uh, people are jumping off the cliff into the water. Sit. I'm officially on the glacier, going up, talking to some friends that have hiked this before. She said when she was a kid that they would hike up here with their skis and ski down. And she just came up here a couple weeks ago. She said the glacier is a lot smaller than what it used to be. We're going to see if we can go to the top of it. Now we're all on the snow. Now we're traversing. Traversing to the other side. Hide. Ah. <laughs> so we just passed some hikers that went up to the very top up here. And they said it was pretty thick with trees and like they couldn't see anything. So they're headed to a viewpoint over there. Uh, but we just came to the other side of the glacier. We're gonna head and Chief is just killing it. There's a trail right up here if you guys, a little trail. Let's keep going.
Chief, back. 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 Good boy. Hey. Hey. This way. Chief. All right, we're headed back down, but I have something really important to tell you guys. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna try it out. No, you're not. Look what I just found. <laughs> huh. Your foot. This is for walking on the snow. Oh, actually, and I'm gonna see uh, see if it works. Tiger. It's a timber tiger. Go get him. Over there. Come here. Go get him. Go get it. The little thing. Timber tiger, Chief. Go get him. <laughs> Chief's going to catch a timber tiger. So we'll have some some oh there you are. Have some meat for dinner. I already fell down once, but I didn't catch it on camera. See? Yeah, it's a rough life out here. We're gonna try those cat tracks out, see if see if we slide. I still have something important. Whoa, there you are. I still have something important to tell you, so don't you go anywhere. Epic slide. Okay, so this is a cat track. How do I know that? Because it says right on it, cat tracks. We just found this and uh, I'm pretty sure it fell off because it doesn't look like they stay on very well. Um, it looks like this is the back. So I'm going to see if I can put it on my foot and see how it works. Title of this video. Never slip on snow again. <laughs> Get a shot of this and my head and the lake. Like See if this works. All right, so this is the shoe <laughs> without it. And this is the shoe with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, oh <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> a horrible product <laughs> don't ever buy this that's probably yeah all I have to say about this is uh, just don't buy it uh, don't they have like metal ones you can clip yeah, on your feet know. and stuff so this is actually what the cat tracks are for <laughs> see chief is uh, currently tearing it to pieces Let's get over this dry ground before we break something. Today was a really fun hike. I'm glad yeah. you guys came along with us. Bethany, did you have fun? So much fun! <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good product. So it's probably a good thing it fell off somebody's feet. So if you're new to our channel, uh, my wife, Taylor, and our dog, Chief, and I are traveling full time in our truck and we're visiting our friends and family and we've been on the road for six months now. That's, wow. yeah, six months. Wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> she didn't know it had been six months. So uh, if you are new, push that subscribe button all the way in and click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. And if you are a subscriber already, consider uh, clicking the share button or sharing this video on your Facebook or something to help our channel grow. We'll see you later. Hats off to you.